Hi guys, so I'm gonna do something uh, different. I'm gonna read a manga. Uh, it's a Japanese comic book. It's called Berserk. I've never read it. I never read it. I've only read the only the first part of it, the Black Swordsman. I've only read up to that. But I've heard this comic is very disturbing. It's one of the most disturbing comics. And there's a lot of gore, and there's a lot of blood. And I think there's sex in it, and there's all kinds of stuff in it. It's very dark as well as very dark tone. It's extremely depressing tone. Um, so yeah, yeah. So the reason I saw a meme some guy did um, on YouTube, and it said like before and after reading Berserk, and this guy, this guy was reviewing the comic, and at chapter one he was all excited reading it. He said it was an awesome comic, and then like chapter twelve, it, it cuts to him chapter twelve or thirteen or something. And he literally, he, he just says he had to stop reading and he throws the comic and he's like crying and stuff. So I don't know what kind of comic can do that, like elicit such a strong emotional response. It's very bizarre, but yeah, so maybe that, that might happen to, <laughs> that might happen to me, maybe, I don't, or I don't think so, but Kentara by Kentaro Miura. So Berserk number one. Translation, I think... I think his last name is Miora. I know it's Kentaro Miora. I think that's his name. But Translation, Jason DeAngelis. Lettering and retouch. Dan Necrosis. His name is like, like Necrosis. Like the like when something decays. That's, that's kind of weird. That's kind of ominous. It's a Dark Horse manga. Dark Horse comics. President and publisher, Mike Richardson. Dark, Dark Horse used to publish Star Wars comics. That's how I, I know about them. I think I think they used to publish Hellboy too. So U.S. editors: Chris Warner, Fred Liu, collection designer Dave David Nissel, by Dark Horse Comics and Digital Man Manga Publishing. So it was made in 1989 and published 1990 in the United. Um, and this reprint is from 2003. So berserk. Now I'm gonna warn you guys. Um, the first. Page, the first, the very first page is actually is like pretty met. It's, it's two people having sex. That's the first page. So obviously, I'm gonna put a w warning. Mature audiences. I'm gonna put mature audiences or whatever, like I did with Batman Year One, and I think I did that a few times. But so the Black Swordsman, and yeah, they're having sex. So I don't. Know, I don't know if I. I don't know if I should. Do like the sounds for it, but yes. And another thing, um, because I usually don't read a man manga. Um, you, we you, the rate the way you read manga is not like comic books. Um, in in the U.S. or other countries, it's it's right to left. So, yeah, you, you have to read it instead of left to right. All the words are left to right. You have to read it right to left. So yes. Yes. <laughs> you fell into my trap, fool. This is your last taste of heaven before I send you to hell. The only one trapped is you, bitch. And he puts on his cloak and he walks away. So I think that was a succubus. That's what that is. It's a mythological being, a succubus. And they're going to a castle in this medieval town. There's some. Uh, there's a. There's a vagrant. There's some knights, and there's a vagrant or homeless person, I think. And now there's people trapped in a cage. So they're like young, young women. It looks like women and men are, are, and babies are trapped in a cage. And that's what where they're going is really fucked up. You'll learn that later. And there's some prostitutes, I think. And they're going to a bar and... Ah! Damn! Oh, you missed! Stop squirming around. How am I supposed to hit you? I feel sorry for that elf. There's nothing we can do about it. Not even the Lord Mayor can hit lay a hand on the men of Coca Castle. Best not to get involved. Hey, here comes the next one. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna mess up your shop a bit. Huh? Bring it on, fathead! Why don't you untie me? I'm gonna stuff those words right back down your throat. Now stop wiggling. I'm gonna gnaw through your arteries! Wah! No, 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 no! <laughs> what? Igor! Bastard, who the hell? <laughs> hmm. He's looking at him. Hmm? <laughs> That's gotta hurt. You're one of the thugs from Coca Castle, aren't you? <laughs> Answer me. Yes, sir. All right. Then I suppose you can deliver a message to your boss for me. Uh, what message? The Black Swordsman has come. That's all. The Black Swordsman? Behind you! And he's this big-ass blade. And he cuts him in half with the big blade. Now, I've seen there's a blade in Final... I'm not familiar with Final Fantasy, the games, but in Final Fantasy VII, I know one... I think Cloud's his name. He has, like, a big blade. I think they're inspired by this. The... The the Final Fantasy VII was inspired by this, I think, because the blades... Well, this is bigger than that one, I think. But yeah, cuts them right in half. <gasps> it was much too big to be called a sword. Massive, thick, heavy, far too rough. Indeed, it was like a re heap of raw iron. To say, I'm counting on you. Uh, um, excuse me. Hey, wait a second. Don't leave me here. Ah, oh, man. Hey, wait up. Listen, if you're going to save someone, you just don't leave them tied up like that. You're supposed to follow it through the end, you know? Say, that's quite a sword you got there. Or should I call it a slab? Mm, oh, yeah. I'm Puck. My, nice to meet you. You see, I was in a trope of traveling performers. But we were attacked by those bums. Ever since I've been locked up in a mina bird's cage and soaked in a wine bottle. It's a wonder that I'm still alive, that's for sure. The town was also attacked a number of times. But the Lord Mayor made a deal with the thugs. In exchange for tribute, they promised that they leave the town free and there'd be no more raids. But I'll, after this, I'll guess they'll start attacking again. Mm. You know, if I were you, I'd get out of this town fast. I mean, if they catch you, they'll cut you to pieces. And not just the thugs, either. Now that the Lord Mayor is a pact with them, even the town guards will- Ah! Ow, that hurt! What did you do that for? Don't touch me. I'll squash you. What? What is it with you? A person shows you a little concern, and you respond with that stuck-up attitude of yours. <laughs> See? I told ya. Well, well, gotta go. Damn. Choo, choo, choo. So he gets whipped. He's getting whipped in the dungeon. There's blood coming down. And that's just, that's the thing. That's the thing, all the scars he has. So I think he had probably had, because from what I understand, he was a mercenary. So he probably has scars from a lot of stuff already. But. <clears throat> You're a stubborn bastard, you know that? Ain't you even gonna make a little noise? Huh? <laughs> you bastard! Stop! Uh, that's enough now. My lord! That stockpile of weapons, it belongs to this man? Yes, Lord Mayor. Enough weapons to start his own war. Crazy bastard. You! Are you a mercenary? Hmm. A complete stranger to these parts. You've done a terrible thing. Do you have any idea what you've done? Because you murdered those men. This town may very well be destroyed. Are you telling me that those guards standing there are scarecrows? What? Enough. You have no idea how horrible he is. The ruler of those men. 
He, that thing, is beyond human. It's something horrible and incomp incomprehensible. A creature from the very depths of the pit. No one can kill him. At least not any one human. So, I see. So that's why you made your dirty deal with him. How could you understand? Wandering vagrant like yourself? I understand. I know all about it. How he's a monster that eats human flesh. I know it very well. <laughs> and I know that you continue to provide him with his meals. I pass them at the gates of the city. A prison wagon full of women and children. I am the mayor. It is my duty to protect this town. Protect this town? Don't you mean protect yourself? You! My lord! <laughs> Do it. Torture him as much as you like. I don't care. But don't kill him. <laughs> we still have to hand him over to Coca Castle. Alive. Prepare my carriage immediately. It's best I go to Coca Castle myself and beg for forgiveness. The black swordsman, you say? Yes, Baron. Er, yes, Baron. His sword was so big it towered over him, and he spilt, split Dean in half with one stroke. He dressed all, all in black and had a false arm made of iron. A real shady-looking guy. Hmm. Could it be... him? My lord! What is it? The, or what is it? That wretch, the mayor, is waiting at the castle gate. He requests an audience with you about the recent incident. I see... It's been a while, Mayor. How good of you to come. Your, your, your Lordship, I have come to ask for your forgiveness for this recent transgression. So what he's eating here, he's eating humans. That's what he's... Yeah, he's, so he's eating like women and children. He's a cat, he's e very evil. This was an act of a vagrant who is unfamiliar with our ways. There is no connection to any of the townsfolk. I'll give you double the amount of prisoners and gold from now on. So please. You look troubled. Eh? Unlike before, you're worried about losing your own life, aren't you? Aren't you, Mayor? <laughs> he spits a ear at him. Gold prisoners. I don't care about such things. I will I wish to see our humans within a fiery apocalypse, trying to escape. All I wish to hear is the sound of snapping bones, crushed under the hooves of horses. I don't even need an excuse. Not at all. <laughs> Stop! What are you doing? Let go of me! Let me go! My lord, my lord. <laughs> the black swordsman. <sighs> Where am I? Damn, I can't move. <sighs> I don't know what that is. Is it the fetus? I don't even know what that is. It looks really gr It's very disturbing. Yeah, it's like some sort of like fetus. Or, I don't know if it's real or not. He's a mad. I think I, I don't know. I think he is imagining it. Be, well, there's souls that like constantly attack him all the time, from the the brand he had, he, or you'll see it later. But you again. <laughs> Get away from me! Get away from me! <laughs> <laughs> What's that all of a sudden? You scared the hell out of me. Uh, wait. Uh, I think I think that's her or him talking or whatever. But you from the tavern. Hey, this water's kind of yellow. Don't tell me that it's, it's piss <laughs> or pee. <laughs> Have you a nightmare? Wow, they really worked you over, didn't they? Well, rest assured, I gave that egghead guard a little thing to sleep on. Hmm? Er, hmm. 
Wow, everywhere I look, you're covered in wounds. I told you, you should have listened to my advice. What'd you come here for? To repay a debt? We elves have a strong sense of duty. Hmm, now let's see. Don't touch me! Don't you ever touch me! The hell? I ain't gonna do anything bad to you. Mm. Look at yourself. You're in no position to give me that kind of attitude. Now be quiet and let me handle it. Stop. And I guess... I think where this, this thing is intersect, so it's like, it's like, um, both gender. I don't know what to refer it as, but, I guess it, but, so it's healing him. The, el the elf is healing him. The pain, the pain, it's disappearing. We elves have all, got all sorts of powers. We can heal wounds, we can sense people's emotions, we can even make people happy. Or at least that's what our troop leader said before he got his head cut off by bandits. Huh? Say, what's your name? Guts. Why'd you come to this town anyhow? You don't have a to answer if you don't want to. Hey, what's that? This thing on your neck it looks like a crest or something. <laughs> What'd I do this time? <sighs> brand. It's the brand. The brand? What's that? What does it mean? How? Why? How did it happen? Who did it to you, huh? You talk too much, you know that. Uh, you'll find out soon enough. Pretty soon you'll come here to kill me. As well as burn this whole town to the ground. Oh, does that mean it's those guys from Coca Castle? Huh? You mean... Oh, you, you mean... You're planning to drag the townspeople into all this? I don't care. All I want to do is find that bastard and kill him. I don't care about anything else. Huh. Anyone who dies b because they get caught up in someone else's fight is a small fry who doesn't have the strength to survive in the first place. His emotions are pouring into me. My chest is burning. If someone can't live their life the way they please... Then might as well die. Is it rage? No, it's not just that. It's rage, sadness, and fear. It's all mixed together so dark. And there's something even deeper than that. Huh? In that case, what about when you save me? <laughs> huh? Idiot, who do you think you are? Why would anyone save you? Just to think I'd risk my life for a little bug. But... Uh, Joe! Hey, what are you doing, you little... Huh? <laughs> so he's crying. Or he's... It's... The elf is crying. Hey, wait! Where do you think you're going? Damn. What was that all about? So he got the key. The key... She left... Or... The elf left the keys. Hmm? Hmm... I don't know why he does this for. He scratches his own skin. Oh, so to put blood on it. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Oh, horrible. Start to do like a horse noise. That's not human. Charge, burn everything to the ground. So Guts is there, he kills. There's a bunch of people are always hiding under the corpses. Under the corpses? What? Guts! What? What the hell kind of crossbow is that? He cuts the horse's head off. Yeah! 
He's so strong. <laughs> and now the snake guy comes. So you're the black swordsman, the one who's been hunting us apostles. I don't know what you hope to accomplish, but to think that a mere mortal can oppose us is pure folly. He did it, my lord. <laughs> what? <laughs> he pointed it right at him, and all the arrows are at him. All the arrows are at the snake guy, but it's done nothing to him. It's futile. No matter how many bolts you shoot at me, a mere human like you can't possibly kill me. I'm going to eat you. I'm going to eat you alive, boy. It's a monster! He's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming! <gasps> Come on, Guts, look up! Up! What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Guts! <laughs> How still breathing are we? Most humans would have had their organs crushed by the first blow and be quite dead by now. But it all ends here. God! Oh. Weak. How pathetic humans are. You humans are nothing more than food. Nothing more but morsels to fill our stomachs. The food shall learn to act like food and... He's just still alive. I feel sick. Hey, don't die on me yet. Please stop, stop, please. To Dinitz, you say it um, doesn't matter how much many bolts I shoot at you. It must be rough being unkillable and all. It's like you said, humans are weak. We die easily. But no matter how weak we are, even if we're being chopped to bits or stabbed to death, we still want to live. I'm going to give you a good taste of what's that like. What that's like. <gasps> Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? The mark. It's the brand of sacrifice. You are the God Hand. The God Hand. Where are the five members of the God Hand? I, I don't know. I don't know where they are. It's not for the apostles such as I to know. I, I'm telling you the truth. 
Take your time and savor it. As your body is slowly burned to ashes. Wait, please. I don't want to die. Right? Help me. Berserk. All the people are dead. And that's the end of that. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, that'd be appreciated. Um, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys later.